What is up guys, Video Game Jam Poop here with a an update to the channel. So, recently I have been uploading um, uh, more playthrough videos a lot in uh, late 2020 and uh, in 2021, no not late 2020, in late, in late 2021 and more of 2022, uh, unlike in 2020 where I had rarely uploads and then stopped doing it too much. And the, and I've done quite a lot of games, uh, so uh, here are uh, the f and I've also recently made a new series, Rating vs. Rating, uh, a topic about uh, a slideshow of each game showing different rating boards, uh, well, two rating boards, one by side, that I made myself, uh, and I thought of it, uh, making it, so I've been making those videos as well. Uh, so this update is basically kind of uh, me thinking about uh, uh, what I'm, what I thought of doing next uh, next uh, so n next months in this year and maybe next year I don't know etc uh, uh, etc et of course so for this month and that I still don't know what games I thought of playing because um, recently I have finished Kirby's Dreamland Three as of this video or this update I should say. <laughs> <laughs> and um and yeah and then after the, after that would should be Kirby 64. I don't know if I should do that next or a different game entirely or or do nothing but still I don't know. But yes, I have uh done Dreamland 3 recently as of this video. Uh so maybe Kirby 64, maybe a different game for July. I hope of doing New Super Mario Bros 2 because uh because it's 2022, and that game came out in 2012. So it's pretty much reaching its uh, 10th anniversary, pretty much. Or 10th birthday. <laughs> uh, and no, you don't, guys, don't ask me to do a birthday cake for New Super Mario Bros. 2. No, I'm not doing a birthday cake like some guys did with Mario Kart Wii for its 10th anniversary. I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, plagiarisms or something, I don't know. I could, but for some games, I don't know. But anyways. Um... Since the release in Japan was in July, so I thought uh, I'll do New Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, in that month. Hopefully, if I can get um, an audio uh, audio cable to record uh, 3DS sounds, uh, the 3DS audio, instead of just using the whole microphone for both my voice and the audio thing. I don't know if it's going to... I don't know if it'll work great. If I don't get it in time, then I'll have to do it like that, unfortunately, for some of you. But you can still hear the game audio in that, and... I have ways to capture footage now with Snickerstream, luckily. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, for August, I thought... I don't know. Well, in August, it's obviously my birthday. So, I'm 16 right now. So, I will turn 17 in August. Um, so, in 5th of August. So, uh, so that's when games... That's when I might not have videos uploaded that year. I might record gameplay for some games. Like, ready for, like, different times. Because I usually, like... Like, those Mega Man games I recorded... Some of them I recorded in 2021, after Christmas. But just scheduled them to 2022 in January. So, I might do something like that in August. So, I might still record all the gameplay footage of games I might think of playing. I don't know. But they might not be here until, like, September or something. I don't know. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much um, it for those times. But I have a few more things to announce. Uh, like, a few more games I thought of doing. So, I think maybe August to September, I thought New Super Mario Bros. U. Since, um, since of course, uh, that was also released in 2012. Uh, 2012. Uh, pretty much, uh, not the same time, but, like, different months or such, I don't know. Uh, I might do them earlier, even though, I think it was November they came out in, but still. Uh, I'll still do them, I'll, if, I'll probably play, I'll play the Switch version, of course, uh, there's some new deluxe. So, yeah, that'll be, um, that'll be some of the games I've thought of, uh, now to the next month. Alright, so, in October... Uh, the games I thought of doing uh, for October are 
the Resident Evil games. Uh, not all of them, of course, but I thought of the original uh, first three Resident Evil games and Code Veronica. So, uh, so for the first Resident Evil, I thought of playing that on the PlayStation Classic. Uh, so the original PS1 version, uh, maybe not the original, maybe Director's Cut or Director's Cut DualShock version, uh, patched to have the original music, because obviously the DualShock music, the DualShock version music is crap by default. <laughs> uh, and obviously an uncensored mod as well, so so to match the uh, Japanese version of it, uh, Biohazard, uh, as it's known as Japan. Uh, for Resident Evil 2 and 3, uh, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I thought of uh, playing them on the Nintendo GameCube, uh, since they're basically they're basically based on the PlayStation One uh, DualShock version. Uh, and no, there's no crappy music in that one this time uh, for um, for Resident Evil Two anyway. Uh, uh, but it has all extra modes and such, and all uh, other features added in that one. It doesn't have Dreamcast f version features or anything. But most importantly, it's one disc. <laughs> And for Resident Evil 3, it's pretty much, um, well, it does not have features from the Dreamcast version, like alternate costumes, but it does have, like, higher quality rooms from the Windows PC version, so, but I'll still play the GameCube version, so I thought of doing them, uh, hopefully, it, uh, I, I might have to try and get, uh, the right, uh, cables and such as well for my GameCube, so I can, um, all the right settings, so I can, um, so I can try because I want to try and play them on GameCube hardware and not the Nintendo Wii so I can save them to my memory card because the memory card on my Wii it corrupts them it corrupts my memory cards for some reason I have no idea why like I have homebrew installed I know it shouldn't do that the uh, corrupt memory cards too much but for me it does it for some reason even to my official ones <laughs> so so that's why I try to use original GameCube hardware and for Code Veronica, I don't know if I can if I I don't know if I can get the 360 version in time one day. But if not, then it will be on GameCube. But if I can get the 360 version on time, I probably will play it on Xbox One because it's backwards compatible. Then I'll play that one. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll see anyway. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts for October for Resident Evil games. Uh, in November, I don't know. Um, there's quite a few games. Uh, that I want to do sometimes, um, because there's quite a few, uh, like, other Mario games I've not played, well, have played, but not done on the channel, uh, like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, but I want to try and wait and see if Nintendo truly gets Galaxy 2 on Switch. Uh, hopefully, I don't know if they will, but I know Galaxy 1 is on Switch via 3D All-Stars, but for Galaxy 2, it's not on Switch yet. And no, uh, besides emulation and such, you know, hacking your Switch, blah, blah, blah. But I mean officially. So there's none of, there's no Galaxy 2 officially on Switch. So if, if it never comes out on Switch, then I would have to play Galaxy 1 on the Switch uh, one day. And then Galaxy 2 on the Wii. So, yeah. That's a, that's a bit of a downside for that. Because I wish to have the same hardware, but still. As for other games, I don't know. Uh, obviously, because there are other franchises that I really need to do, like The Legend of Zelda, for instance, because uh, I've not played any of them on my channel, uh, even though I should, because I've only played a few games. Uh, pretty much the only ones I remember finishing was Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, the both N64 games. Uh, uh, pretty much uh, on all hardware it was on, almost. Um uh, well, almost all hardware. So on the N64 itself, the GameCube, uh, I think the Nintendo Wii, I think, and then uh, and obviously the 3DS remakes. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, I thought making Zelda games in the future. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I want to start. I have to start with the NES ones. Uh, so Zelda One and Zelda Two. Uh, I've not played a Link to the Past as of this video. I still need to do that one day. Same with Link's Awakening. And Oracle of Ages and Seasons, pretty much the most of the 2D Zelda games. Uh, I still also need to play Wind Waker one day as well. Uh, for that, uh, etc. And Twilight Princess and all of it. I've not played m many of the latest. Uh, I may have played a bit, but I'd, I've not like finished them or anything. Uh, uh, same with like uh, Hyrule Warriors and such. I've not. I don't, I've not even played them at all. <laughs> 
But that's for Zelda. Uh, other series I thought were Metroid, since Metroid is one of my favourite series from Nintendo. Uh, like, I've played almost all the main games uh, before Dread. I've not played Dread, but I have played uh, the original, uh, the Metroid 2, Super Metroid, the Metroid Fusion. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake of the first one. And for for the Prime series, I've only played... I've only finished the first one, 100%. I've not played Two Echoes, Dark Echoes in Japan, or Corruption. And I've not played Metroid Other M as well. I've not played that. Uh, or I've not even... Pretty much not any latest Metroid game I've not played. Uh, but I've played the more older ones, and they were really good. And I've not played the... Uh, I've not played the Samus Returns either, even though that's a remake of Metroid 2. Not played that. Uh, I've also not played the fan remake, uh, another Metroid 2 remake. I've not played that as well, even though that's a fan game and not official, and Nintendo tried to dig it down because they don't really like it, but still. Uh, that's another series I thought, but for others, I, I, I don't really know. Uh, possibly Kirby, because obviously there's more Kirby games. There's way more Kirby games. I, I've... I've really played and really enjoyed, uh, uh, including, uh, well, the ones after 64 at least, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, uh, Amazing Mirror, uh, Squeak Squad, or Mouse Attack, uh, Superstar Ultra, uh, those were, like, one of the main ones I played. Uh, yeah, Epic Yarn, I've played that, and uh, Returns to Dreamland, or Adventure Way, I've played that. And, uh, and of course, the Dream Collection, of course, and Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot. These are pretty much the only Kirby games I've played through. I've not played uh, most of the spin-offs. I've not played most of them. Uh, like, the only spin-off I played on this channel was Canvas Curse or Power Paintbrush. Um. And as for the other Kirby games I thought of doing, well, the other spin-offs I've not played through, like, some of them I know they're very quick, like Pinball Land. You could just beat that in, like, ten minutes or something. Uh, well, if you're quick enough anyway. So I thought, try and doing that in one video since it's a basic game anyway. Uh, other games though, they are spin-offs, but some may take a while, uh, especially ones with save slots. <laughs> like Block Ball, that has save slots. Um, I've not played that. Or Star Stacker, both the Game Boy and the Japan exclusive Super Nintendo version, Super Star Stacker. Uh, they have save features, they're probably gonna take a while. I'm not really that good on puzzle games too much as well. Uh, oh yeah, Dream Course, I've not played that. I, I don't know if I'll be very good at it when I first play it. Uh, Avalanche or Ghost Trap is pretty much Puyo Puyo, but still. Or Dr. Robotics Mean Bee Machine, basically. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure some of you know that already. But yeah, that's for the, that's for the Kirby games I thought of doing one day. Uh, other spin-offs, of course. Yeah, I've still not played some of them. Uh, maybe a bit, but not too much. Like, I've, I've not even played through Mass Attack or any others. Uh, really, uh, pretty much. Um, but then for other series, I don't know. So, for November at least. Um, uh, because I think for the more mature games, I thought of doing that way in the future because I've not played some of them yet or uh, or any others because I know a lot of people will want me to play other games like GTA, for example. Uh, I've not played through the games yet, unfortunately, as of this video, so... I will. I can do in the future though, uh, uh, because I've heard they're really good. They're obviously really good games, of course. Um, uh, other series, um, of course, I'll, of course, for, uh, well, we'll skip from December. They're probably random games. I thought of choosing myself for January. I thought of uh, Resident Evil Four, of course, because uh, since it came out in January in two thousand five, which is where I was born, so. <laughs> So pretty much my birthday is in the same year as Resident Evil 4's, <laughs> so... Uh, but for Resident Evil 4, I thought of playing that on the Xbox One, if I can get the Xbox One version... Uh, ...on a physical disc one day. Uh, uh, because I played through that game on GameCube, it was awesome. Uh, uh, two discs. Uh, for, uh, for... Obviously, other months of probably other random games, but for... Uh, but yeah, uh, possibly other branding games. I don't know which ones, though. Maybe more Mario or other series, or maybe a completely different series I've not even done on the channel at all, but still. Uh, but still, that'll be for uh, those months. And... 
Alright then, so in either April or March, or pretty much this summer years, I thought of, of doing another Resident Evil game. So, probably Resident Evil 5, uh, which uh, probably what most people like. Uh, obviously, RE4, most people like more uh, than, than RE5, but I thought of playing Resident Evil 5. Um, also on Xbox One, uh, hopefully, I think it includes all DLC. It's, I think it's based on the Gold Edition, or in Japan, the Alternative Edition. What's alternative about that, I wonder? But anyways, um, I thought of doing Resident Evil 5, since that's another great Resident Evil game. Uh, uh, especially for its setting, of course. Although, controversies and all that, because of the game's setting and all that, the country it's set in, but... Still, it's still an awesome game. Thought of doing that in, uh, I don't know if it'll be April or May, we don't know. I thought of doing that. Or there may be different months entirely, but hopefully in the summer I should hopefully be able to do Resident Evil 5 if I can get a Xbox One copy. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, for, like, the other months, I still don't know. But, uh, especially after August for my 18th birthday. So, yeah, I'll be fully adult now. <laughs> well, not now, but be a fully adult then. <laughs> But then for November, I thought of uh, Resident Evil 6, uh, which is actually one of my favourite ones of all time, uh, almost. Because uh, I've played it recently on the... Uh, on on my PlayStation 3. I played both RE5 and 6 on PlayStation 3, Japanese releases. Uh, and they were really awesome. Uh, I like RE6 more. And yes, uh, I thought of doing that in November... Uh, for 2023, was it? Yeah, 2023. Hopefully, anyway. Um, but yes, um, but I have not played Resident Evil 7 or Village yet, so, as of this video, uh, so, I've not played them yet, so they may, they might be, like, way in the future, we don't know. Uh, for other series, uh, still, again, probably other Nintendo series, or any others, like, an, uh, other series I thought of doing in, like, the other months, like, besides Resident Evil and all that, since uh, they're really good. Um, uh, other family-friendly, for family-friendly franchises, I thought of other series. So, not just all Nintendo-based ones, uh, but also, like, Sony-based ones as well. Uh, so, like, the uh, PlayStation series. Uh, the original Crash Bandicoot series I thought of doing one day. I still need to play through them, because I've not even finished all of them. Same with Spyro the Dragon. Uh, the original trilogy, uh, Jack and Daxter, still need to play through them one day, uh, Ratchet and Clank, same thing, uh, Sly Cooper, uh, same thing, uh, they are all, like, all family-friendly franchises, basically almost mascots for, uh, for Sony, pretty much, well, apart from Crash and Spyro nowadays, it's pretty much on other systems now, but the original ones w were pr pretty much PlayStation mascots, almost, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, they're, well, they're for Sony series. I don't think Microsoft has any family-friendly series. Besides, like, a few rare series, you know, like Banjo-Kazooie and and all that. And no, Conker's not one of them because he's mature. <laughs> but besides, like, Rare's Banjo and that, I don't think Microsoft has their own family-friendly series. Most of them are, like, pretty much mature, like Halo and that. I've not even played through Halo games, even though I, I know they're really good. Uh... Uh, they're, but they're mostly pretty much mature, so, yeah. Uh, other family-friendly series? I don't know. Uh, obviously, they're pretty much from different people. Uh, one day, I still need to play Sonic games uh, from Sega. Uh, because with the announcement of the Sonic Origins, uh, basically a collection, uh, which contains Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, and Sonic CD... Uh, basically remastered as well, so it'll include uh, in both 4x3 and widescreen options. I'll probably play those games on that collection when it comes out. Uh, hopefully on Xbox One, if it if it's, if, it's, if it's on the Xbox One at least. But the unfortunate thing about that collection is that the... that Sega also announced that uh, bad... Uh, that sadly, they're also, they're also taking down digital versions of Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles and CD on stores, with a few exceptions, like Sega Ages version, or, uh, or, I think, I forgot what others, I think, uh, 
Oh yeah, Switch Online, um, if the Sonic games are on there, of course. Uh, I think most likely Sonic 2, but still. I thought of playing them on that collection, because w before that collection was even announced, I thought of doing it on the Genesis Mini, because I've got a Genesis Mini, I've got an American one. Like, I'm in the UK, but I've got an American uh, Genesis Mini, uh, not a Mega Drive Mini, so... I, I originally thought of playing them on that, and for Sonic 3, originally I thought of playing Sonic 3 Complete, uh, which is a complete better version of Sonic 3. And obviously, I know Sonic 3 Air is way better than that, but still. But but that's only for PC. That's only for PC. So, yeah. Uh, but So, if you're not really a PC gamer, then the best version of Sonic 3 is Sonic 3 Complete. But if you are a PC gamer, then the best version is Sonic 3 Air. So... <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I, I get that, still. But they're for the original Sonic games. I still haven't done... In fact, I have played Sonic the Fighters, which is a fighting game, and Sonic R, but I've played that on Gems Collection, and I've played that on PS2. Uh, not GameCube, because obviously, uh, for you Americans, you, if, some, if, you, if some of you don't know, Gems Collection also came out on PS2, but not for you Americans. Only, only the UK and Japan got it. Well, Europe and Japan got it. Uh, for PS2. Uh, you Americans only got it for GameCube, sadly. Unless you import, of course, but still. But yeah, uh, it was way cheaper on PS2 anyway, uh, Gems Collection. Uh, contain it's, it's a nice collection. It contains CD, um, uh, The Fighters, and R, uh, as well as a few more Game Gear games from, uh, not from Mega Collection Plus, but basically the other games that were not in Mega Collection Plus, or Sonic Adventure DX on GameCube. As well as a few other unlockables as well. But yeah, I've played them on I've played Sonic R on that. I've not played it on Saturn. Uh, even though I do have a Saturn. But still. <laughs> um But yeah, that's for the Sonic series that I thought of playing. Uh, I've not played the 3D ones pretty much. Like Adventure, Adventure 2, Heroes, uh 06, which is awful <laughs> and very glitchy. Like, I do have that game on Xbox 360, but I've not yet to play it. Uh, not yet played it. Uh, other games, Unleashed, uh, Generations, I've got Generations. Uh, uh, what others? Uh, what others were there? Oh yeah, there was also the Sonic Boom series, like, like Rise of Lyric. I've not got them, and I've heard the update for that game is 1 gig. Yeah. It, it, it's just for bug fixes and such. <laughs> But yeah, that's for the Sonic series I thought of doing, the original ones. Um, other series from Sega, uh, for Sega, I've not played too much of Sega's games. Only Sonic, pretty much. Uh, because obviously, that's that's what most people want Sega for. They mostly want a Sega console for Sonic games. <laughs> because that's their goal, isn't it? So, <laughs> that's, that's what's... Uh, it's like, you want Nintendo consoles for just Mario or Legend of Zelda or anything like that, and you want Sega for Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, pretty much. Uh, think of it as, like, you want an Xbox for Halo, or you want a PlayStation for, like, uh, Crash Bandicoot or Spyro or any other series that were PlayStation exclusive, uh, and all that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty much like a, a console war, pretty much. <sighs> yeah. Uh, pretty much. Also, during these years, uh, during these months, uh, more rating versus rating videos should be out, should also come out in a few days as well, so, uh, uh, maybe with new rating systems you might have not even seen before, I don't know, uh, because I've not even looked into those yet, and a lot of people are also requesting for me to do, um, anime, uh, rating systems as well, uh, based on TV shows, uh, anime, now I've not now personally I've not I've not even known those rating systems of what TV is uh, the TV rating systems I've I've not actually known that uh, too much uh, I I have to understand more of it before I can might before I might do videos like that uh, so yeah if if I don't really understand it at all then I'm not doing them of course but I'll have to understand them more in order to do these videos so. Yeah, so that's why there's not, uh, I'm not doing the anime ones yet. So, but I'll still continue to do video game ones, uh, of course, because that's what my main focus on my channel is, still. Uh, yeah. 
But still, um... Uh, what was I going to say? But still, yeah, more rating versus rating videos will still come out. Um, I don't know about version comparison videos, because I've still not done them in years. Um, like, uh, there were, there were, like, I think one of them I've done, but it, but it was on a hard drive that I lost the memory for, so, uh, yeah, like, what I mean by lost the memory for is, um, it, it got lost, so it's not, it's not, I, I don't have it anymore, I forgot what game it was as well, but still, but I did a region comparison video of that, but still, but yeah, that's what the, that's what I thought for the other series, um, uh, that's, uh, as for what consoles I've been, what I would be recording some on, of, of course, Resident Evil games, uh, first one, PlayStation Classic, uh, the uh, next two games, uh, RE2 and 3, GameCube, I thought. For Code Veronica, I don't know if it'll be Xbox One or GameCube. If I don't get the 360 version in time, then it will be on GameCube. Uh, uh, and if I don't, uh... I uh, forgot what I was saying, but anyways, um, uh, for other for other games on like other systems, uh, uh, and I'm talking about handheld systems here. For 3DS games, I now have an ability to capture footage for them, thanks to Snickerstream. Uh, obviously, with original DS, I mostly do them on Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, but if a game is incompatible, I don't know what I should use. Obviously, Snickerstream could work. But then again, uh, some games like Bowser's Inside Story, you're required to you're required to s flip your screen horizontally sometimes, or something like that. Uh, you have to you have to flip your screen to like a different side uh, in in some parts of the game. Same thing with uh, 3DS games like Dream Team uh, or Mario and Luigi Dream Team or Dream Team Bros. Uh, you're you're forced to change the screen. Uh, and I don't know how you can change that in the settings for Snickerstream, or even change it in OBS. Uh, and it will take a lot of editing work, I think. So, I'll try to avoid those games as possible for now, but... But if I find a way, then I will do them. Yes, of course, because uh, I want to pretty much do most games. There are some games I would never do on the channel. Uh, and those include, like, pornographic games, of course, uh, because YouTube hates it. Uh, and I'll get strikes immediately or something, I don't know. Um, and of course, a few games that are just so controversial. Like, not like controversial as some games you think, you know, like Carmageddon with its controversy in the UK or something, or or obviously the GTA series. Uh, obviously, they're always controversial, thanks to, uh, thanks to some people criticising the games. All all controversies like based on uh, the settings of the game, so like with Resident Evil Five, for instance, or something like that. But anyways, uh, yeah, those were those. There are some games that I'll never do on the channel, uh, uh, but I'll try and do most of them as possible. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as so, back to the consoles I've been record. Uh, I'll have to record on. So, for PSP. I've not found a way, as of this video, I've not found a way to capture footage off an actual PSP. Now, obviously, I can use emulation, but sometimes they are very buggy, depending on the game. So, because I have also thought of some PSP games, uh, like Mega Man Powered Up and Maverick Hunter X. Uh, yeah, on the PSP, so... And they're both PSP exclusives. They're not on. I don't. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there are ways you can play PSP games off of a PlayStation Three, or not. Because you can download PSP games off of a PS Three through the PSN Store, but I don't know if that means you can play them on a PS Three, or if you have to use a PSP. But it it basically gives you the license, and then when you download it off a of PSP, you get it for free or something. I don't know if it's like that. Uh, like you let me guys know uh, about that. Uh, I could be wrong with some of these things. But yeah, I, uh, and obviously I do not have a PlayStation Vita yet, but but when I do, I'll also find I'll I'll also find ways to get uh to get it working with like uh capturing uh maybe not I don't know if it'll be TV capture, so let's say oh, I just want to play my PSP games on the big screen or something. Uh, not just for recording or something, but still. 
uh, it might not be like that, or maybe something just for capturing, I don't know. Uh, either way, it don't, doesn't matter. Uh, but I still need to try and capture those games like that, so... Yeah. I'll have to wait on that. Unfortunately. But I think that's that's about it for the update, guys. So, I don't know what game will be next, but... But feel free to subscribe to the channel and... Uh, and hope to see new videos in the future. Video Game Jam Poop out. See you guys next time. Bye!